Hi there, this is James from Social Intense, and I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to add live chat to Microsoft Teams. This will allow you to chat with your website visitors right from your Microsoft Teams application. The first step is to find our application called Live Chat, either in the App Marketplace or by clicking the plus button at the top of the team and channel that you'd add, like to add Live Chat to. Once you click on this application, it'll be added as a Live Chat tab into your Teams and channel like what you see here currently. This gives you a high level view of queued chats, active chats, and your chat history so you can see exactly what's going on with Live Chat in your system at any time. In order to test a chat, you can just click this link, test your chat, and then I'll give you a demo chat widget that you can use uh, to test your chat app. This will include uh, pre-sales information that you can configure. Um, you can also customize colors, logos, and all the text that you see. I'm going to start a test chat here. Once you click Start Chat, chat is routed to your Microsoft Teams application. You do get a desktop notification as well as an activity notification and you'll see that the channel is bolded when the chat arrives. What we do is we create a new conversation in Teams that you can see here with the pre-sales information that you've collected. Uh, in order to join a chat, you click, click, click the Join Chat button and you can simply reply from the conversation by clicking reply and you'll see that the response goes right back to the teams uh, to the live chat client. You can also click an open chat console which will open a agent view of the live chat within your live chat console, your live chat tab that you've added. As you see here you can also respond and the visitor will see the same information on their end. We do support emojis, uh, file uploads and downloads, as well as canned messages and shortcuts. Uh, you'll see here that the, you can join any active chat, so any member of that team can join any active chat. And when you want to escalate uh, chats between agents, you can post out of band within your team and channel inviting your other team members to join a chat and any of them can join and respond at any time. Next I'm going to talk a little bit about the chat settings and your agent settings. When you set the application up you've added the live chat to your team and channel. You also add it to the left sidebar here. And what that does is it gives you access to your chat settings. So you see here all the chat widgets that we've set up. You could set up multiple widgets say for different brands or different languages and each can have its own routing meaning it can route to a separate team and channel. As you see in the chat settings, we've got uh, high-level settings for each chat, including the name, which team it routes to, uh, as well as colors, logos, transcript emails, and a standalone URL. The standalone URL can be handy if you want to post on social media or add just standalone links to uh, email signatures or anything like that. In addition to the general settings, we have your one line of code snippet that you can add to your website, or we also support WordPress plugins. You can see what your chat looks like at any time using the preview link. You can customize each text field that you see in the visitor side uh, for your needs, including uh, supporting multi multiple languages. Uh, next, we can determine when the chat is online or offline using your online schedule. And this applies to each chat widget and you can set up multiple periods during the day that the chat will be available. Once you do this, uh, when you're offline, we display either an offline form or you can hide the chat widget altogether when it's not available. We do support integration with uh, ch uh, Dialogflow for natural language processing, so we do support uh, chatbots uh, for more advanced users, and you can have a chatbot st either start a chat, it can pick up when a chat is missed or offline, or you can use it in conjunction with your agents. We do support targeting, which means uh, which pages your chat widget is available on, as well as proactive timers to automatically trigger the chat to pop up after a configured period of time. Uh, the next two sections are CSS and JavaScript, where you can customize styles and JavaScript, including uh, scripts for analytics and such. 
and for sending transcripts and emails to other systems. So we integrate with Zapier. So this allows you to send your uh, transcripts to nearly any uh, SaaS application, including HubSpot, Salesforce, MailChimp, uh, to emails and many other applications. We do support uh, integrating with uh, Dynamics and other Microsoft products through Zapier as well. Next, we're going to take a quick look at the agent settings. You can set up um, your agent name and photos in the agent settings. So when you do set up agents, all they need to do is add the live chat application to the left sidebar, sidebar and log in, and that will automatically create them as an agent on our side. So you don't, you're not required to uh, manually configure agents. Just ask them to log in, and we'll create them as an agent. On the next two tabs here are just plan information uh, when you wish to subscribe. Uh, and help documentation. We do have quite a few help articles that allow you to, uh, to come up to speed on how to configure certain things uh, within uh, your live chat. Um, well, that's it for now. If you need help, please visit us at socialintents.com. Um, chat with us anytime. We'll be happy to help.